And then up here, this is the big one. This that looks like a sort of like a large Queen Anne's lace, but uh, much more deadly. Uh, yeah, this is the giant hogweed, uh, and I think it comes up from down the river, gets in the stream. The seeds will drop in the stream and then float down the river and end up in these nice marshy areas on the side. And I haven't seen it um, probably about four years ago was the first time I saw any of it. And now you can see it's all over the place. So, and they'll get, they'll get about 12, 15 feet tall or so. It's a nuisance, but we haven't, uh, it hasn't interacted at all. It stays along the stream. We've tried to contain it, but it, uh, it sort of escapes our efforts. We don't use chemicals or pesticides to treat uh, invasive species in this area, so one effort we tried to do was uh, put a black trash bag over the top of it and tie it. And I think that sort of suffocates the flower and it keeps the seeds from spreading. Uh, but that can be, that's a pretty intense process. You have to go around and fit every single plant you see with a bag. And then some of the smaller ones like this are kind of hard to do that with because they're just so small. I think the other the other option is just to cut them down, but you have to be careful with that because of the because of the sap inside.